Hi guys, this is Joey or Rowan and this is a VR response to the wonderful Belladonna and her video Why Are People Leaving Witchcraft? Um, so I have a few points that I thought I would throw out there and the first one is this <clears throat> There are many many paths to spiritual enlightenment, to deity and to divinity and witchcraft and paganism isn't for everybody and if people no longer feel that um, witchcraft is in their in their cards, so to speak, then we wish them well and let them get on with it. Um, I understand there is, um, I think there's a worry in the pagan community that it would somehow um, slander witchcraft that people leave it or, uh, with, you know, give it a bad reputation that people want to leave it but spiritual paths are always in flux they're constantly moving it's um more like a you know a, a sea of creative ideas than it is one stone path and if people want to come and go then it's their personal path and wishing them well is the best thing we can do so that's the first thing that being said i understand the concerns that have arisen out of this because obviously some things have been said about um, witchcraft and paganism which aren't fair, um, aren't really tr completely true and um, is really based on limited experience with perhaps individuals that don't represent the broad um, spectrum of what I consider to be witchcraft and paganism. So. I'm going to discuss a little bit about how I see it and how I, I think and feel about paganism and how this links in. So, um, I think one of the best ideas that you can, that possibly the Wiccan um, community came up with is a year and a day um, study period. It's whereby for one year and one day you study everything about the craft before fully committing yourself to a lifetime commitment um, to paganism. I took it even further and I researched and studied for years before I fully dedicated myself. Um, and I'm talking... five years. I studied and read around and not just on, on witchcraft and paganism but all um, walks of spiritual path and I'd always felt called to um, wicca and witchcraft and paganism in the first instance from being very very young and I think that that is an integral part of um, becoming a witch. It has to speak to your soul in such a way that you know that it is right for you. And if it isn't speaking to you in that way, then it's probably best that you go and find a spiritual path which does speak to you like that. Um, I would encourage anybody to read in a solitary capacity before you get involved with other witches. Um, for the simple reason that you need to read around, you need to get that knowledge, you want to decide what you do and don't agree with and you have to get to the point, in my personal opinion, where you are comfortable to say that is bullshit. And what I mean by that is that if you don't agree with somebody, or be it in a book, be it in person or be it on YouTube, you have the strength of self to say, I don't agree with that, that's not something that resonates with me, I find that morally reprehensible, I find that a little bit off, I wouldn't want to do it that way, that's not how I see it and you have to be comfortable in yourself and in any path really, in my opinion, but it's my opinion, to say that when you do and don't agree with somebody, blindly following any religion is a really dangerous idea and that's when you get into the ideas of cults. Um, 
So I think that's a real problem for a lot of people. They want to belong, they want to feel comfortable, they want to have a group around them, they want to learn from other people, and that's what maybe why a lot of people do back off from witchcraft, because um, witchcraft, a lot of it is carving your own your own path you know that you're encouraged in the solitary path particularly um to write your own rituals to um follow your own ideas to um find the way that you connect with divinity and this isn't about leaving for one spiritual path but it could be for many of us because an awful lot of other religions are an awful awful lot more structured um than witchcraft is because of doctrine, dogma and organised religious, uh, the church basically, you know, um, organisations that are put in place to tell people, um, you know, this is what we're learning, this is what um, the rules are, this is the main day of worship, this is the place, this is the time. And you can find all that information in um, Wicca, witchcraft, paganism, but often there's this huge divide of, of gulf between a lot of it is actually experiencing it for yourself. Whereas a lot of organised religions are say, you know, you have to go through a priest to commune with God, paganism and witchcraft throw that right out and say that each person is their own priest and priestess and has the, um, the right and, you know, should commune with deity themselves. That being said, I think um, the negative perception of um, witchcraft from those outside and even perpetuated by some people who claim to be witches within um, is throwing people off balance because people seem to feel like it's all about spells and magic and um, that there's this, this selfishness at the core of it and that it's not about love and it's not about spirituality and it's about selfish endeavours and causing other people harm through cursing, hexing, whatever. And in my experience in life and on YouTube, the people who think like that are maybe one or two people and they cause all sorts of negative stuff to go out and that causes more harm than good and it's not what Wicca, witchcraft, paganism is about as a whole, but that neg negative stereotype is so strongly ingrained in people because of the nonsense that people have been saying who don't know anything about it say about it. And then you have some people who are acting in a way that upsets people or threatens people or makes people think this isn't for me. And they don't stop to think this isn't what paganism is about because I've had this experience with one, two, three people. It, if you want an outside religious, uh, outside religion experience, it's like the people who develop a sense of um, racism or racial animosity because they've had a bad run-in with one or two or a group of particular people, and it's basically throwing the baby out with the bathwater. That's what it, I think happens quite a lot. Um, for me, witchcraft and and um, my spirituality that goes with it is all about um, giving back for this wonderful gift um, of life and of nature. I've had a difficult life. Um, I don't discuss that on YouTube because I don't need to. I don't need people to feel sorry for me, but I have survived, I have grown stronger and the, my pagan roots and um, everything have helped me survive real difficult life situations and some people I don't know they 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 see that one or two people aren't what they want to be they feel um got at or or whatever and they fold um and to be honest if they you know if they haven't got the Oh, this is going to sound wrong and bad, but if they haven't got the devotion to paganism and witchcraft, if they're not inspired in their heart of hearts to research more into it, to look at other people, to investigate, then it's probably not the path for them. 
um, not in a negative way. Um, sense but because they're not invested enough in in the spiritual path to look outside the negative naysayers um they're not put you know they're not invested enough to go researching here 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 and really consider um what paganism and witchcraft is all about um the you know i have said before that and I will say again that this path is all about connection with divinity. And again, there are many, many paths. And it is the way in which you walk the path, not which path you walk. So if you are happy and comfortable and feel loved in one path, then you are best off there. Um, because you are feeling positive and um, can continue down a path towards divinity, which is hopefully more positive and a more learning experience for you. However, um, that is not to say then you suddenly start bad-mouthing where you came from because there is, it's not to say that one path is wrong because the minute you start doing that, you're judging, you're throwing out negativity and I think that's where the worry is coming from on, you, on YouTube. Like someone is um, bad-mouthing our practice and a lot of people are so deeply invested in that practice that they want to step up and defend it. And that's cool, you know, I mean, if you are that invested and you, you feel the love for your path, then sing about it. And I think the best policy on, on this is um, promote what you love instead of bitching about what you hate. Because bitching and name calling and saying this person is wrong and is achieving what? You're just damaging the community further. Um, if, if they want to go and do whatever they want, then wish them well, because what else are you gonna do? You can't force somebody to practice the way you practice. And witchcraft is about freedom um, and about uh, self-responsibility and morality. The people who forget that are the people surrounded by negativity and chaos. Um, and that's true in every single walk of life. You can't um, honestly expect to walk through life treading on people, hurting people, bitching about people, trolling people and not get negative repercussions in this lifetime. Forget about next lifetime. You'll find it in this lifetime. Excuse me. Oh. So I think misinformation is a problem a real problem that drives particularly newbies away from um, from witchcraft and, pa and paganism. Um, I've said on a couple of my videos that a lot of the crap that's been happening on YouTube needs to stop because people are going to come in, look at this and think, is this what witchcraft is about? Leaving negative videos for each other and negative comments and people trolling and calling names and trying to interfere with people's family life or lives in general and just spreading negativity and hate. And, uh, and honestly, if someone is new and is looking for information and this is what they find, I'm not surprised people are put off. Um, and it, it's a shame. It is because... For me, it's been the most enlightening and um, loving experience with my um, communication with goddess, god, spirit, deity, however you want to see that. Um, witches, you know, I want to address a couple of things. Right. Witches do pray, uh, as the wonderful Belladonna said. And I think a lot of people lose, um, lose sight of spell crafting is like prayer okay um so whereas some right uh somebody in the christian faith might um oh, let's use catholicism seeing as that's in the thing right rosary candle altar praying in front of it for whatever okay so they are um holding a rosary and, and moving the rosary through and praying for whatever how is that any different from a Wiccan in front of their altar doing not magic, um, praying for the same idea with a candle lit? It's not. It's the um, use of tools available to um, the practitioner to petition the universe for, for things, which is what praying is. Um, communicating with um, 
spirit and divine and deity um, is something that I do on a daily basis. Not Maybe not every day, but I attempt to every day. And to create a sacred space to go before the altar and to give thanks, to meditate, to pray, to find a sense of balance within myself and try and affect the world around me in a positive sense. There are a lot of witches um, that I know that basically do a lot of good works, a lot of charity works. Um, and this is lost sight of in <laughs> in light of the few people who put negative videos and stuff out there, right? So, I mean, the lovely Brooke does all sorts of things for, for charity and um, bless her soul. She's, you know, she's so wonderful about it um, that, you know, she gave all a load of food away recently to free families. I know another woman um, who is her one of her goddess given gifts is an affinity for cats and she took this further and you know set up a cat rescue in her own home and rehouses cats and is a huge advocate for animal rights and veganism um and she does all sorts of good works like that i know another older witchy woman who um she takes in cats as well but she also helps families um, who are in, in need and in trouble and I believe in the idea of doing a good deed every day oh I know another woman who works with children um, particularly children who are um, who have you know uh, difficult life situations and, and they work through drama and uh, theatre to give them joy and an outlet for creativity and things like that uh, God, how many? Oh, I know another woman who's also pagan who works with, um, I've forgotten what they're called, autistic children. And she's a big advocate for autistic rights. I could go on. You know, I believe in myself in trying to, what I call doing a good deed every day. And it, some days, the opportunity doesn't present itself but whenever possible I think it's a really good practice and a pagan practice for me to do a good deed every day and it could be helping an old lady across the street holding doors open it could be anything I mean the other week I um, had a balloon as part of my Halloween uh, thing that I had in town and this little girl it was about three and she you know she was watching it and overjoyed by it and um she asked her mummy if she could go have a look so mummy brought her up and we were in a coffee shop and before i left I took the balloon off and i um gave it to her and her mummy was like no you don't have to you don't have to i was like it's fine take it but let her have you know let take it as a free gift enjoy it and that is giving something back because you're bringing a little bit of joy in and that's a big part of paganism and witchcraft that I think gets ignored because of the drama that sometimes occurs with certain people. And I said on um, my video yesterday that unfortunately there's this promotion at the minute that the pagan community, particularly on YouTube, is the only one like this. It's not. Um, this sort of nonsense is unfortunately inherent in the negative side of any people in the you know anywhere any group of people group dynamics psychology go look it up it's scary um but i'm part of different communities and that like a, a, a video game community is something me and my gnome do together in our leisure time and you should see the stuff that gets said there it's just as bad if not worse you you only have to go look at music videos on youtube and see the awful comments or people you know it's everywhere unfortunately and but I do think that that has had some effect on people I, I think that might have upset people to the point where they've left their spiritual path because their spiritual they have allowed their spiritual path to be tainted or darkened by maybe darkened by isn't that right tainted and thrown into question by the negative experiences they have had with certain people who are promoting certain ideas which a lot of witches would be like whatever um 
and they didn't have the you know they didn't have the deep investment in the religion um to stand up and say you're wrong that's not what i believe that's not morally um whatever to me um and they'd rather leave and that is personal choice you know if you if you want to if you want to leave and you want to go somewhere else and you can find more truth and happiness in that path then you should um and that's being lost a little bit i think because people are feeling very defensive of something that means very much to them that's the problem with religion and spirituality and that's probably how um wars get started to be honest and you need to back off from that in my opinion and just say go with love go with love if 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 that makes you happy if that is your road if that is your truth go for it because we can only govern our own truths our own selves our own behaviors and um, you know um witchcraft to me is more about this higher moral responsibility we're more aware we're more aware of deity we're more aware of the energy of deity running through everything we should be aware of um the deity being responsible being the mother and father of everybody everybody whether you like them or not and so attacking people is really counter intuitive to what religion and spirituality should be what wicca witchcraft paganism etc should be and my philosophy is if you're not going to do it in life don't do it in witchcraft just because it's a spell doesn't mean the consequences won't be as dire you don't go around thinking i really dislike this person i'm going to stab them in the face well, most people don't and because you will go to prison there is a you know just because there isn't an earthly um immediate consequence for hexing and cursing for example doesn't mean you're not going to get bitch slapped by the, the divine because you will um and i think that some people have really got this misguided sense that that's all witchcraft is about selfish gain and people out there promote this idea and they're doing just as much harm as people outside going oh these people are evil because um they can you know you can switch on youtube and there's someone saying i'd hex you in a minute and the people outside are going see and there's another problem you see um fear and i think uh, i think belladonna hit this on the head that people are afraid and that's okay you know um it's understandable when it's not for me to question other people's path i love witchcraft and paganism and i have since i was very young because it was free of um guilt repression and fear those three things are negative dominions of men and women humans um in itself witchcraft doesn't promote those things people do people are flawed and fallible but you know there was no guilt of being a woman for example in, in witchcraft there was the balance of male and female divinity the um the all powerful spirit was so beyond our comprehension it was both male and female and yet neither and yet both and we ca we understand it through these sort of um tiny windows of representations of god and goddess which gives us a slight light into the overall thing which as human beings we're not going to get our heads around so i don't see the problem in in someone taking a different line to have a, a different window to seeing through it i don't agree with some some things that um doctrines and religion in religions that are written by man and can be fallible and can be hateful and can be twisted but the problem is that that's true of any religion you right i pick up a book right i have a book right here so the craft dorothy morrison and in the back is um the laws that are written down for witchcraft and they were written down i can't remember when they were written down i think it's the 60s or 70s i think it doesn't actually say 
Right. That's Let's find one that can be right. Never speak ill of the gods, for doing so will incur their anger. I, I, I would love to know how many people on who claim to be witches have actually read these. Uh, <laughs> these were put down um, originally because it, when it was new, just to give it structure, um, because it, they wanted it to be recognised as a religion. Um, and it's a it's a guideline more than rules nowadays. And some of them some of them are you know in debate. Like I think there's one that says you shouldn't sell services, and obviously that is in um, huge amounts of debate now. But think of that, right? You shouldn't speak ill of the gods. And to me, that's any gods. You shouldn't say that anybody's religious path is any less valid. I think what the best thing we can do in this situation is wish them all the best and try and promote better educated videos and information out there of um, what witchcraft and paganism is. Um, because as long as people have the wrong idea and that wrong ideas are promoted and um, whatnot, people will leave because it's gonna they're going to think we are a type of people that we're not that only one type of people practice witchcraft that um it's all negative that we, witches honestly believe that hexing is a good idea uh, so all those sorts of things mm -hmm. so with the greatest love and the greatest respect um follow whichever path brings you truth happiness and joy in your heart because um, following what other people say isn't going to bring you any any truth of self. Look for the balance is my um, honest advice to anybody. Um, witchcraft to me is about balance, male, um, female, um, good and evil, dark and light. It's all about finding a path and looking deeper into concepts, looking deeper into ideas, not taking somebody's word for it, not um, following somebody's ideals, ideas and what they say blindly, because if you follow someone blindly, it, it becomes cult-like and we all know how that ends up. So don't be afraid to question um, everything and anything around you. And the Witch's Creed, you know, to question, to will, to dare, to be silent. Um, think on them, really think on them. So that is it for this video, many blessings.